Hello, Scorpio. This is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing, bringing you your general and love reading for the month of June 2016. First off, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and sharing it. We have now reached 4,000 subscribers thanks to you. So many, many thanks for that. Please continue to share with your friends and let me know if there is any way that we can improve the channel in order to better assist you. You can send me a message to my Facebook page. You can also email me. Would love to hear any recommendations you have. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna be pulling some cards. I have prayed over them, shuffled them, ask each of you receives one message. We're gonna be pulling from three Dorian Virtue decks today. Her Archangel Power Tarot her Romance Angels, and her Archangel Michael deck. We're also going to be pulling from The Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Now, the thing to remember, this is a reading for a large audience. And sometimes I have people that are confused because, you know, a couple messages resonate for them and, and the others kind of confuse them. And that's because, you know, you may only have one or two messages in the reading for you. Um, the only way to find out specific for you and your situation is to have a private personal reading with me. And you can schedule that on my webpage. I do those in person if you're in the central Ohio area. I also do them on the phone via Viber, which is a free call app. It's great for free international calls. And then I also do pre-recorded video readings, which are similar to these on YouTube. Clients send me their questions, I record the reading, and I upload the reading to a private link that only they can see. And a lot of international clients love it because they get to rewatch the reading over and over. So let's go ahead and get started and see what is in store for you this month, Scorpios. Okay. So you guys, as a number of the signs, have gone through a number of changes recently. And start they're starting off this first card is eight of ariel and on the bottom it says take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect consider getting additional education or training so i get that a number of you are embarking on a new career or you're embarking on a new business and you know the angels they're commending you on excellent work they're telling you that you should take great pride in what you do <clears throat> excuse me, they're saying that the energy, the effort, and even just the natural talent that you put into your career is definitely going to reap financial benefits and be very rewarding for you. But for some of you that, you know, you've just taken that leap of faith, you've, you've started your own business, you've ventured out, you've started a new career, it, it is going to involve some new it's going to involve some training, some on-the-job training, some schools, some seminars in order to, you know, get spun up and be fully engrossed in moving forward. So, and for some of you, they're saying, you know, you, you've started this new business. It's something that, you know, it's always been like a hobby. So you haven't really signed up for any classes or seminars, but because you're not feeling that there's a need, but they're, they're encouraging you to do that because you'll learn some things that you weren't aware of that are going to assist you. And um, very quickly getting, you know, in the black, very quickly having financial success and even things that are going to make it easier for you. Next card we have is Six of Michael. And at the bottom it says, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. But I get a sense that it's... No, they're not talking about relocation with this. So, what they're wanting you to know is if you look at this card, I have to zoom in. You know, Archangel Michael, he's, he's in these storms, but he's coming out to the sunshine. He's, he's coming out to the other end. So, they're wanting you to know that good, happier times, you know, they are, they are directly in head, they're directly ahead for you. And, Actually, they're saying for a number of you this month in June is when you're going to be you're going to be clearing into the happier times. So this, so there's been a situation for a number of you. For some of you, it's been a situation at work. You've had conflict with supervisor. Um, even some of you've had internal conflict because you know you're not happy at the you know not happy with the company. You're not happy with what you're doing. You know you're wanting something that's more fulfilling, but you're torn on what to do and it's it's causing you stress. For some of you, it, it's been emotional stress with a, with a partner, with with a lover, someone that 
there's been a lot of you know emotional turbulence back and forth with them and And for some of you, there's been there's been a been a separation from partner. For some of you, separation from you know changing of careers. So yeah, because I'm getting there's there's a myriad of situations that have just essentially what it's been doing. They're saying these situations for each of you that are all individual have been have been shifting you to get you aligned to where you need to be. To you know, for some of you, it's been complete changes. You've been changing partners, you've been changing jobs, changing careers, starting your own business. And it's, it's an emotionally turbulent time because you've got to leave that past behind and, and completely let it go. But, but it's caused a lot of emotional turbulence and a lot of heartache and a lot of stress. And it's even made you very hostile. Like if you see Archangel Michael, he's got a sword drawn, it's, it's, it's up in the air. So it's been a very hostile, emotional, trying, difficult time. But June is the month that you're going to come out on the other end. So you can start taking a breath of relief and you can move forward on those new plans, those new beginnings, and, and not be afraid of implementing those changes and, and taking those courses and, and just forging forward because June is the, the month that you're, you're going to be coming out of it. You're going to be able to finally leave all that stuff behind you. Uh, and for some of you, they're saying some of you, it's even emotional internal thoughts and doubts and worries and fears. So they're saying to just leave, leave all that junk behind. You're embarking on a new beginning in, in June. So they're asking that you remain positive, you have faith, that, that you also look at things objectively. Because, you know, sometimes when we have things that are changing around us and we don't understand why, we don't like it, um, we fight it, especially as Scorpios, you know, we fight back and we, we try, we do not go with the change at all. And they're saying that this is, this is for your highest good. This is, this is to bring those, those dreams, those blessings, those things that you want. These, are, these changes are to bring those things to you. So don't fight them. Be positive and be open to receiving. Next card is from the Archangel Michael deck. See if I can get angled so you can read it. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. And there's a prayer on the bottom that says, thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. So it seems for a small number of you that, you know, you've had the conflict at work. You're wondering if this, you know, person is a good confidant for you at work that you can actually trust and share things with. Yes, that person is. For another very small number of you, there's someone that you're considering to start a business with, a, a potential business partner, and you're wondering if they're trustworthy, if you should, you know, move forward with them. And this is confirmation that yes, they are. And for a larger number of you, you've had love go on ahead and infiltrate your top row. And it's about a love relationship. For some of you, you have someone new in your life. And because of things in the past, emotional hurts and things in the past, you're, you're hesitant to move forward with them. Because, you know, you don't know if you can trust me, you don't want to be hurt again. They're saying, yes, absolutely trust this person. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about it. And then for some of you, they're saying, okay. So for some of you, you've had someone that you've had a, a long-standing relationship with them. And maybe it's not even that you've gotten committed. Maybe you've been dating, seeing someone. And there's been a lot of emotional turbulence, heartache, struggles with the person where, you know, they're saying like a number of you have even just like, you know, given up. You, you, you become defensive, you've drawn your sword, you've given up, and they're saying some of you have even just thrown yourselves into work. So, but that person, and, and 
they're saying those of you in that situation, you know, that person's not even really an active part of your life. They're not even part of your life at this point, but they're going to be coming back into your life. But because of what's happened in the past, and because you're defensive, you got your sword drawn, and you don't want to be hurt again. The same thing, you're going to be asking, <laughs> can I really trust them, or are they, you know, playing the same, you know? Because I guess for those of you that are in the situation, it's kind of been it's it's been a back and forth for a long time. So when they do come back you're going to doubt that they're genuine. You're going to think, oh, well, here we go again. This is just the same thing that we've gone through for months and for some of you years. And, but this time it's different. They're saying this time it's different. And this person is very trustworthy. You can definitely trust them. And they're saying to not, not get caught up in those negative thoughts and emotions. So it's definitely a reassurance that, that you can rely on that person. You can completely trust them. They're saying, so we, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone acts selfishly. Everyone, you know, does things. But that's that's part of, you know, life. We, we learn things. We move forward. But they're saying that this person, for those of you in this situation, whoever you thought of right away, that they're saying that, yes, this person is definitely trustworthy. They are dependable. They do care about you. And at this time, they are going to act accordingly in a loving, considerate um, way toward you and it and it will and it will be different they're saying it will be different so Harkin and Michael saying you put your sword put your sword down he's he's saying don't be like him in this guard um, he's saying put your sword down trust and, and it's hard for Scorpios because you know we if we get burned we just pull up that stinger and we like to go ahead and, and retaliate and sting that person and go the other direction or we just have a complete wall so Archangel Michael's asking not have a wall put the sword down it is going to be different this this time you know saying you know you're not perfect they're not perfect um, it's unrealistic to expect this person to be perfect because that puts too much pressure on them the relationship so instead just be open know that you can trust this person because they're saying this is so for for the for those of you that are in this situation it's a it's some type of divine partnership it's it's some it's like a soulmate connection divine partnership twin flame connection it's it's a it's a divine partnership so it's not something you've been able to escape which is why there's been your you've had that boomerang back and forth um because scorpios if you're not having a relationship you just escape and run and you just don't ever look back but this person you keep going back to this person because it, because it's it's a meant to be and it's and because it's a soulmate connection i'm getting why that person kept leaving was because that they were learning a lesson that they had to learn in order to prepare to be with you and then also for you you were embarking on making changes in your life in order to make room for that person so it's not one-sided it was two-sided now they may have been leaving because they were going you know back to someone else it, for some of you, it was a, a triangle, a love triangle thing, but that was because they had to go and finally release that person and come into loving themselves so that they could come back and love you. And then you also had things that you had to learn. For some of you, you had to learn to love yourself and heal yourself. For some of you, you were going to be embarking on a career and things that would make more free time, but, but you both had things that had to line up to now come together. So when that partner does come in, trust them be open to them and then for another final small number of you you're going to have some new love interest that's going to be coming in and be open be open now for the row that's just supposed to be for love the first card we have is flirt and the bottom of it says extend your light-hearted energy to others so scorpios those of you that have someone that's coming back Put the stinger away, be lighthearted, be playful, have fun, be flirtatious. For some of you, you're in a relationship where there's just been some conflict, you know, there's been some stress, some conflict, things aren't going so well. You're wanting to rekindle the passion, you know, light the flame again in your relationship. And, and the way that you'll do that is by, you know, just being playful, being flirtatious, because, you know, romance and enjoying each other's company and, you know, embracing each other, it all comes from a lightheartedness, a, a playfulness, 
You know, that's that's the heart of passion of, of just having fun with each other and and letting your guard down and just just relaxing and enjoying the moment, enjoying each other. And it and it doesn't necessarily mean you know sexual activity, although it can, but just have fun, enjoy. Uh, don't be so serious. <laughs> don't be so serious. So for some of you, you've got this new love interest. For some of you, you've got this love interest that's coming back. Okay, you trust them. You're on board. You're ready for this. But you're very serious. <laughs> They're saying, don't be so serious. Play. Have fun. Enjoy. And for Scorpios, it, it could lead to more. But just enjoy. Next card is very soon. So... Bottom of it says, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. For, so for some of you, and this is talking to our singles that are out there, our single Scorpios, you know, you've, you've been waiting for someone. No, I have, okay. So they're saying this is for single Scorpios that have been waiting to have someone in their life, someone to share their life with, someone to enjoy their life with. And what, what the angels are asking is that you take the time to be very clear about what it is that you want so that they can bring you what you desire. So because as soon as you're very specific on what you want, so, so they're saying for some of the single Scorpios that are out there, you, you want to share your life with someone, you want a partner, but you haven't been specific on what you want. And, you know, that, that makes it difficult for them to, to bring you a partner. So the new moon would be a good time for you to sit down and put together a manifestation list of, okay, here's the things that I would like in a partner. We have a new moon on Saturday, June 4th, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So sit down, write a list of, you know, here's what I want in a partner. And, and don't be so specific that you're listing how, how tall they have to be, their shoe size, their eye color, their hair color, where they work, because then you're going to potentially block the person who is a soulmate connection for you, but be, but don't be completely open that you're going to take anyone that has a pulse. So put some things in there that, you know, you want someone who enjoys outdoor activities or you want someone that enjoys swimming or you like someone that's a homebody, but, but put down a list of, you know, the partner that would best compliment you and what you desire in that person and then let go and let God. Turn that over and trust. And for those of you, I, you know, on my readings, I always <laughs> talk about God and the angels. That's my belief. That's, uh, and I am always going to stick in my readings what mm, resonates with me. But feel free to replace God with whatever the higher power is that you believe in. So put that list together. Give it to the higher power. For me, let go, let God, give it over to the angels and, and just trust that it will be brought to you. And it will because they're letting you know it's going to happen very soon. Now, for some of you that have a, a love interest and things aren't working out, um, but they're saying for a very small number of you, you've been with someone for a long time and you're like, okay, are we ever going to take this to the next level? Are we ever going to actually be committed to each other? Um, for some of you, it's an engagement. For some of you, yeah, they're saying some of you are going to get engaged in June. And for some of you, it's just going to be taking it to that next committed level because you're just kind of like, okay. This, this has been going on forever. When is, when is this actually going to move forward? Because some of you are just frustrated about to even just walk away. They're saying, hang in there, have fun, be you know, lighthearted, playful. It is going to happen. For some of you, it's gonna happen in June. For some of you, it's gonna happen in July. And then there's a, some of you are gonna be meeting. Some of you that are single that are you know, putting your wish list together, you're gonna to meet that person in June. And for some of you that had that person that kept bouncing back, they're going to come back and they're going to come back to you in June. Some of you even maybe as late as July. So, last card we have is slow down. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, when you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. Scorpios, we want it all. We want it now. And our time is not divine timing. So, they're reminding us that, you know, everything's in perfect order. There's no need to rush or hurry things because in our excitement, we forget to enjoy the process of what we're creating and we just forget to enjoy ourselves. We, you know, there's, yeah, they were talking earlier about don't be so serious. 
because we're so serious and so focused on the final goal and getting there and even for like you know starting your, a business so focused on the goal that that we lose the enjoyment along the way so you know getting to the goal that's that's only half the fun but you know enjoy it along the way and and also if we're so focused on the goal we we will often miss out on extra things that could bring us joy you know so we may get some guidance and some extra messages on things that if we're not taking the time to just let things un unfold naturally and we're not taking the time to slow down so we can hear those messages we'll miss out on those opportunities so they're saying in june just slow down things are coming together they're coming together beautifully divinely and they are coming together for you this month. They are commending you. A lot of you have made a lot of changes in order for these things to come together. And they are commending you on that. A lot of you have you've let people go that weren't good for you. You've let jobs go. You've, you've let situations go that weren't serving you. So they, they are commending you on doing that because you have cleaned the slate. You've cleared the way. You do have... A lot of gifts coming in, new careers, new businesses, new jobs, new loves. And it's gonna start opening for you in June and you have some relaxation Scorpios. So enjoy, I would love to hear back from you. Any feedback, you can leave it below. You can also send me private messages. I would love to hear from you and I wish you an amazing month filled with a lot of love, joy and blessings.